Good day to you. Paul Cook here, your Athens probate expert and your Athens area EXP real estate professional. And I'm answering some frequently asked questions on probate. Now, the answers that I provide here uh, may be more fully addressed on my website at www.athensprobateexpert.com. That's www.athensprobateexpert.com. Press on the FAQ tab. So how does the probate process work? Well, the probate process can vary and is often subject to numerous outside factors that can change it. The the following list is a very simplified step-by-step description of the probate process, so take it with a grain of salt. First, an original signed and executed copy of the will is delivered to the local probate court. Now, there there might not be a will. That is another question that you can look up. A notice of the petition for probate is published in the local newspaper next. This is usually required prior to the formal appointment of the personal representative, the executor, the executrix, the administrator uh, that might be named in the will. Now, if there is no will, the court appoints an administrator. Uh, Next, when this is official, the personal representative, the administrator, files the formal petition with the court to probate the estate. And at this time, the formal claims period begins. Remember that term, formal claims period, because that's what we're going to talk about just for a moment here. And it may last as much as four months or even more. And this is where a number of things take place. Number one, the creditors against the estate are allowed to file their claims. This includes previously unpaid bills, debts, other liens or judgments, debts resulting from medical care, funeral expenses, outstanding taxes, and other encumbrances. Two, this takes place during this formal claims period. The personal representative is identifying, gathering, and securing the assets of the estate in order to ultimately distribute them in accordance with the will or court directives. Three, the personal representative will also maintain these assets safely, properly, and in good condition, as well as collecting any income, rents, residuals, interest payments, etc., that are due to the estate. And then lastly, during this period, the personal representative may also, if permitted or desired, liquidate some of the hard assets, such as cars, real estate, etc., to provide cash to pay these creditors. Now, after the formal claims period has expired and all assets have been collected, necessary property has been sold and no problems have have arisen, the personal representative will file their final petition with the probate court for distribution of all remaining assets to the heirs and beneficiaries. This includes a detailed accounting to the court explaining all of the expenses, funds, and assets received and dispersed and the proposed final plan for asset distribution that has to be okayed by the court. Now, upon the court's approval, the personal representative distributes the assets as instructed in the will and detailed by the approved petition as required by law or by the courts. All right, little disclaimer here at the end. I do this vlog and this blog for educational purposes and to give you general information and understanding of the law. This is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. So again, take that with a grain of salt as well. But if you have uh, questions, any other questions about probate or about real estate, uh, you can go to www.athensprobateexpert.com and click on that FAQ tab. Or, as always, you're welcome to reach out to me via text or call me at 706-714-8553. That's 706-714-8553. And remember, if you have anyone you know who's going through the estate or probate process, we are the full service solution to everything probate and everything real estate. Have a wonderful day.